All right, today we're going to do a shoot on the beach with a Baywatch style look. And I'm going to bring you along for the ride and show you different ways of doing this. So I grabbed me this blonde walking around. Actually, it's Kara. She's with me wherever I go. How practical is that? So the sun is going down. It's kind of low in the sky. And the first thing I always do is put the model with her back against the sun. That does two things. A, it puts a nice hair light around them. Nice edge light right there. And it puts her face in shade, which gives me a nice clean slate to work with without hard lighting from the sun. Now there's three things you could do. You could expose for the face, but the background would go white. Or you could use a reflector, in which case you'd be blinding the poor girl. Or you use flashes, which is a whole bunch of light that happens in only one ten thousandth of a second. And the model can be very relaxed without having her retinas fried. So that's the way I chose to go. So the first thing you do is expose to the background so it's there in which case the model would probably look black but that doesn't matter because we're using flashes to fill that in so this is what it looks like with just the background exposed but no light on the foreground now we put in a flash pretty darn good huh look at what the sun is doing to her hair nice edge light there really helps her pop out from the background camera's an a7 III the lens is my trusty all-purpose 55 1.8 which is the most all-purpose lens I use all the time I always start with the 55 and then I I decide if I want to go wider or closer. In this case, I wanted to go a little more telephoto, so I switched to the 105 and I got this. It's a lot more of a cinematic look. It puts a focus on the person, but the background is just blurry. So if you're in a really cool location, you might want to go a little less like this, but it looks cool. She looks cool. All I'm looking at is her anyway. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Okay, so you know me, I like to use two saw boxes. In this case, what I seem to be doing a lot on this trip is to use a more punchier light as my key light, which is silver with no diffusion and a deflector plate in the middle. It makes her stand out more. It just gives it a nicer, punchier look. And that's camera right. Now on camera left, a lot of photographers like to use a big white reflector. I don't because reflectors have to be kind of close to the person. And I don't want to have my light sources be very close to the person so I have more room to move and more creativity. So I'm using a softbox which throws light further than a reflector. So in this case I'm using a Glow Grand Box Pro 32x32 with a single layer of diffusion and both lights are Godox AD 600s. So the purpose of the diffuse softbox is basically to act as a reflector. It just It's a soft light that kind of fills in some shadows on the shadow side but it's a little weaker than the key light so it just kind of softens the shadows up. That's, that's all I'm using it for. Back to the 55 because she's in a beautiful background. The sun is off to the right but I want to have also a hair light edge light on the left to make her totally outlined and pop out so as you can see I'm using an AD 200 on the left there helps put a little more edge light on her hair gives a little bit more of a surreal look helps her pop out more like she needs help popping out right next shot now here I have no lights at all sometimes I like to turn the lights out and just take existing light shots because it looks cool so she's a little more silhouetted in shadow, but that's okay. It's dramatic, it looks cool, her pose is cool, everything is cool, so you don't need lights in this situation. But it also looks cool with the light, so I usually do it both ways. I do without and with, and this looks really cool. I like this, so that looks good too. Doesn't she look like Christy Brinkley in this one? I call this the Christy Brinkley shot. All right. She turns her head, that looks cool. Hair is flying in the air, that looks really cool. All right, now we're going for a somber reflective shot. Girl reflecting about life as she's walking on the beach in Tahiti. Gives you a lot to think about. I like this. Again, I'm not using any lights at all here. This is just sunlight coming from the side. And here I thought it'd be a little artsy and put an edge light from the left. And in here for the safety shot, I turn everything on, which looks cool. It's like a travel ad postcard kind of thing. I could just look at this picture all day. Even when we're not there anymore, I can look at this and feel like I'm there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Now, here I'm lying totally flat on the ground with my lens basically in the sand, but it gives you a really cool, I don't know, Jurassic Park-like look. It's, it's cool. Very, uh, very powerful. And the pose helps, too. And I know some behind-the-scenes shots. This is a good shot of the key light. As you can see, there's no diffusion at all. It's just a deflector plate and a lot of silver. This throws light a lot further than something with diffusion on it. I mean, two to three times as far. So if you want to throw light a far distance, this is a good way to do it. And while she was standing there, I thought, hey, this is cool. Let me take some pictures. This is behind the scenes stuff. 
this is just sunlight kind of behind some clouds. So it was a little diffused. So I said, I'll take advantage of this. Stay there. Let's take some BTS pictures. So she got all sexy and everything as she's known to do. And we started taking pictures. And I thought, okay, well, let's put a light off to the right and see what that looks like. Uh, It looks a little too harsh. So turn that one off. Here we have our Pam Anderson look. Looking totally Pammy there. Very Baywatchy looking. Yeah. Like right out of a movie. This is is great. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. And this was not planned. This was just, she just stood there and I said, hey, that looks cool. Let me take some pictures. And these turned out to be some of the best pictures from the whole shoot. This wasn't even planned. And they're great. And notice how cinematic these look. This is focusing on her. The background's kind of blurry. That's because I'm using the 105 again. The 105 is great for portrait stuff like this. Probably one of the best portrait lenses out there. The Sigma 105 1.4. These look great. Wow. Yeah. Whoa, don't stop. Just stay there. Here she looks like Susan Day from the Partridge Family. Remember that? She looks like, yep. This is too much fun. I could go on and on and on, but uh, you get the idea. So this is uh, just some fun stuff on the beach here at the Four Seasons in Bora Bora, Tahiti. I mean, I don't think it gets more fun having camera gear and a blonde in Tahiti. You can't get a better combination than that. I'm just a kid in a toy store here. I'm having fun. And I'm sharing it with you. That's what this channel is about. Sharing the joy of photography. Maybe it'll inspire you. It's cool and it's fun. And that's what this is about. I hope you got something out of it. I hope this inspires you to take pictures of your own somehow. So we'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a good time.